Delighted to be able to report very agreeable weather for the fans here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Welbeck. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Superb block. It needs an accurate cross. Well, it's one pass after another. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Three goals in the last three games. He looks a real threat whenever he gets the ball, and I'm sure he'll add to that tally today. Thomas Partey. Jacker with it. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. A good and fair challenge. Welbeck. Welbeck. No high quality defending. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. He keeps looking down and feeling his foot, so that's obviously the problem, and I think it came from that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. Who can he pick out? Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, as a play it goes, and that was in no small measure due to the effect of press. Kessia. Oh, they've lost it. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Marcinelli. The cross is on. It's a perfect challenge. Can he find the net? The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, opting for the short corner. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? And there's the delivery. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Welbeck.
Bukayo Saka. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, the supporters think it's on. Body in the way. Welbeck. On to Gross. Well, the attack looks promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. March. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? There will be three minutes added on at the end. Martin Odegaard. And Kessia. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. So into the second half, and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them. Nketia. Very quick thinking there. Could be a chance to break here. Will they profit from this situation? All in all, a broken counter-attack. Martinelli, an encouraging Arsenal move. Xhaka, big chance to get them on terms. And it's gone in, beyond the goalkeeper, Arsenal level. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? away again here on the back of that leveller Gabriel Martinelli and return to Xhaka can he put them in front tenacious tackling excellent defending there The keeper more than equal to it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Now, how about the short corner? 
And Kessia. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Martinelli. And Kessia. It could be up for grabs. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Well, Arsenal are getting frustrated now. Just look at the number of chances they've made. But you do sense a goal is coming here. Kaoru Mitoma. Kaiseido. And the emphasis is on creativity. Mitoma. Kessia Gabriel Martinelli just the challenge that was required just 15 minutes remaining Mitoma it did look on for them but not to be well the Arsenal fans are driving their team forward here just listen to this noise they can sense a winner coming Nketia. Can he find the right pass? Must take the lead here. Dear, oh dear, he squandered it. Well, that should have been the winner with so little time left. He can't believe he didn't score there. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? Opportunity! Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. And the teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. <laughs> Elects to go short. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. Pascal Gross. Estupinian. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone. Neither side holds the advantage.